What's up, Pokemon fans? Uh, this is Clayton Fagan from Team Reaper TCG, and with me, as always, is Mr. Chris Weber. What is up? Uh, today, we've got the um, championship match from the League Cup in uh, Benton, Arkansas at Archangel Games, which took place on December 8th. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we had 18 Masters, um, which gave us a top four. Anyways, let's uh, let me talk about Jesse for a second. Jesse Stuckey, uh, he's got uh, his credentials here. Um, this season, he top 128 at the uh, Nashville Open, mm -hmm. and he also has a League Cup win um, at Russellville, Arkansas. Expanded playing uh, Zoro Garb. Yeah. And um, what's Rudy got? Rudy's got a second place finish at Spotcon, which was in Hot Springs, and he was playing. It was expanded, and he was playing Lucario GX. Oh yeah, the with Lucario. like Zygarde, and I honestly don't remember what all else. Yeah, it was had a really deck, yeah, but it was, it was a really like a neat list. It was like a fighting toolbox almost. Yeah, but he ended up getting second place, and I remember he lost to uh, he lost to Kenny yeah, Bishop Trevenant. Um, playing Trevenant. Yeah, and uh, uh, Kenny also uh, representing uh, Team Reaper TCG. So uh, yep. All right, well, let's get into it. Let's see it. All right, so here we go. And uh, with the championship game, uh, Rudy actually won the coin flip, and he will go first. Yep, um, yep. He's playing Bicephalon, and um, Jesse Stuckey on the left is playing uh, Zorak Lycanroc. Yeah, with Weaviles. Weaviles. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, with Weaviles. A highly underestimated card. And actually, he also runs a Ditto and a Muck. Right, right. Which. Uh, yeah, Muck really hurt me in our top four matchup. Uh, I was playing uh, Shuckle Viper and uh, Muck. Muck shuts it down, so um, my whole goal was target Ditto, but uh, I still didn't have enough to take him out. Um, yeah. But so, yeah, so uh, straight see... to a Cynthia here yeah, with uh, an Rudy. attachment and then Cynthia. Hopefully he can find some Mitch Pokemon. You know, it'd suck to get donked. But I don't really think Jesse's going to be donking anything with a Marshadow in the active. Yeah, that's not going to happen. And his deck requires setup anyway, so yeah, there's no way that's going to happen. And he's just going to let loose. Oh, wow, so he's going to let loose. And uh, he might, I think he shows his hand. It's wow. Like three nest yeah, balls. Yeah, he had a pretty good setup there. And Jesse actually plays 12, he plays 12 balls. So, uh, <laughs> and an and apricorn maker. He does have one apricorn maker. Um, his list is a tad bit weird. It is weird. He, he only runs one Cynthia also, which is completely odd to me, but um, he really wants that turn one Lily. Mm-hmm. And um, which is always great, and then of course from there you just use your lilies as a uh, trade fodder. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think his game plan is to get the turn one lily, and then to lily a bunch into a whole bunch of pokeballs to just thin your deck. I of see the a balls great ball and the Pokemon. Let's see, I see a great ball and a nest ball. Okay, there's the nest ball. Uh, probably gonna grab a Zerua. Yeah. Or uh, maybe Rock Ruff. I don't know. Uh, maybe even Ditto? No, nah, he doesn't really need... Well, he can do the Ditto just to evolve into other things, but he doesn't... The Muck doesn't really help him this matchup. I see. I think I see a Tapu Lele. Yeah, I see a Lele yeah, in hand, so we're probably going to see a turn one Lily here. Mm -hmm. um, I think I also saw a Great Ball. Yeah, that'll be really good. So do the Lele first to maybe thin your deck of one card that you don't draw with. There it great is. Ball. There's the turn one Lily. And... But yeah, so I guess yeah, Lele first, so that whenever you do play Great Ball, you're not like drawing. You're not drawing lane. into the Lele. Yeah, that's pretty smart. Then your deck, go ahead and get that out of the way. And then yeah, yep, great, there's ball. The great Ball. All right, so there's a Zerua, Lycan Rock, Lele. So a lot of options. Probably yeah, just get a Zerua though. A Zerua. So pretty good start so far. Uh, mm -hmm. The Marsh Shadow really didn't uh, didn't hurt Jesse at all. Uh, may mm. have actually helped him. Yeah, not really. That definitely a help. So let's see, I think I see maybe an attachment. He's going to go ahead and Lily. Now I saw the uh, unit energy. In yeah, him. he had a unit energy. I, You know, you really want to attach that first to the Lily for more, but there's not really a good thing to attach it to, so I can totally understand why he didn't attach it. And there's Ditto. I might have attached it to the Marsh Shadow just to be able to get it out of the active next turn. True, true. Because um, he does not run a skateboards, and the only thing to get him out of the active are Guzmas. And, and he actually only runs two Guzma. Only two Guzma. Uh, now he does run Palpad um, to be able to get uh, Guzmas back, and then of course he can draw into him with Trade. Yeah. Um, once it gets late game and uh, your deck's nice and thin, you know, you use that late Palpad, and he's going to grab a Rock Ruff. So he's. Wow, he's got a really good uh, setup so far for his turn one. I think he's used three Nest Balls so far. 
just turn one easy and does he have anything else there's the attachment all right so he's going to um, attach to ditto and there he goes he's going to pass that's actually kind of interesting uh, well, I think it's, uh, you know, he can evolve into Weavile, and of course Weavile will just lay into it, because you're going to have, you know, um, oh yeah, well, true, even though Becephalon doesn't have uh, any uh, abilities, uh, he's got a Marsh Shadow down, and once he gets the, uh, well, there's a Lele, yeah, so there's another ability, so now you're hitting for at least 100 on a mm -hmm. Weavile. Yeah, and it just it really leaves his options open because he can do Weavile with this, or he could just turn that Ditto into a Lycanroc. He and could, he could, more, yes, he could. He then, could one more uh, and then Dangerous uh, Rogue real easily. Yeah, that's true. I did not think about that. And so there we see a Cynthia. And I think here Rudy really needs some poi poles. I play a lot of Malamar, and it's real sad when you don't get early Inkas. Wait, when on you the don't bench. get the Inkas and you don't get the poi poles, yes, it is very sad. When I was playing Beast Box, that was the same thing. Pine needs my poi poles. Mm. Alright, let's see what he draws on the Cynthia here. And another attachment would also be kind of nice. Although, the Burst GX is just really good too. Alright, so there's a. Yeah, I would probably, space. if I did attach though, I would I would probably put on the other Bicephalon. That is true. Alright, so there is the. Uh, Mysterious Treasure. Maybe get another Poi Pole? He already has Marsh Shadow on the bench. Yeah, Poi Pole. Yeah. Because he's only got Poipol, Naganadles, Tapu Lele, and Marshadow that he can get with Mysterious Treasure. Um, so now your Dangerous Rogue is uh, hitting for 250, though. So <laughs> it's that's, a lot of that's damage. Kind of, that's that's kind of the thing about filling your bench up when you got you know Lycanroc staring you down with mm -hmm. the bloodthirsty eyes. And so where does he attach the energy? And so he's gonna okay. So he's yep, gonna attach yep. to the other uh, Bicephalon, and he's gonna go ahead and GX. And there's an energy switch into the discard. Mm. So he's got one left in deck. All right, going on to Jesse here. And, yeah, there's Zorark. Zorark. Wow, two Zorak in hand. I didn't see if he top-decked it or not, but, uh, yeah, getting ready to do some trading here. Mm, there's trade one, great ball. I guess you don't really need that anymore. <laughs> trade, right, two. trade two. Nest ball. I don't definitely really need don't that, that anymore. That, yeah. He draws into a unit and, and a I didn't field see. Lower? I didn't see the supporter. Does he have no, supporter in a hand? Ball. Um, I don't. I don't think so. He a supporter. I think if he had had a supporter, he would have played it first. Although not necessarily, since he's playing lilies primarily. Right, so now I wonder. He may just be stuck. Maybe he does attach the unit energy to the active, to retreat it. Right, so he's gonna go ahead and great ball here. And I see a lichen rock. There's also a weavile. All right. So he's gonna grab their lichen rock and. Is he going to evolve the ditto? I believe he is, and I'm not sure what he's going to bloodthirsty eyes. Maybe the Lele. Maybe. Or maybe he just doesn't. All right, so he did evolve the Ditto. And then there's and I guess attachment. he didn't. I guess he decided not to bloodthirsty. Oh, okay. The so he's going to Guzma. Okay. So he didn't need to bloodthirsty eyes. So. Uh -uh. And yeah, dangerous rogue. It wouldn't have mattered if he bloodthirsty eyes. Yep. So he'll dangerous rogue right here for the knockout. All right. So he'll take two prizes. Rest in peace, Placephalon. All right, but now Rudy's on uh, Beast Ring, so <laughs> and we saw how strong it will be. Beast yes, Ring we was. saw how strong it was in his top four matchup against uh, Josh Marking. So, um, and he's got two Naga Nadels down. Um, I kind of see him taking a return knockout this turn. Yeah, it wouldn't be too hard. Uh, like in Rock having two hundred, so he'd need to uh, get his uh, double charging up and then just attach return. Mm -hmm. And there's double charging up. Yep, there's the double charging up, and let's see. There's the attachment. Um, and see if he gets the. No, okay, so he didn't have the beast ring, so he, but he is going to go ahead and take the knockout here. Yeah. All right, so now there we go. Oh, and because of the uh, burst GX there, he's at three prizes now. I forgot about that. Already. Burst yeah, GX already. is. It's like turn four, and they're already both down to <laughs> three and four prizes. Yeah. There's trade number one. Uh, there's that useless muck. Yeah. Probably so that's trade. He's going to trade it away. Yep, there yep, it is. Yep. Alright, another Zerua. Zerua. I didn't see what else he drew. I look like a DCE, so there's Choice Band DCE. Alright, so he's hitting for 150 right now. Yeah, and there is a way that Zorak does knock out Blacephalon in one hit, but it takes a good amount of pieces. You need Devoured Field, Choice Band, and Kakui. And, Kikui, and yeah, Full Bench. To hit 180, yeah. So it's possible, but not. You know, and he, d I believe he does run. Uh, I think he runs one copy of Kakui. Uh, yes. Yeah, he does. So he one does copy. run one copy of Kakui. He also runs two Judge, which I find interesting as well. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, so Judge now, is a good card right now with yeah. uh, all the you known hand going around. 
All right, so now what's Rudy need to do I think do I here? missed it. I think he attached that fire for turn. Okay. No, yeah, he had to have. Yeah, he had to have attached it for turn because he used all his energy. Now, is that an energy switch? Well, I was going to say that Rudy could actually take another knockout if he had... Oh, if he had Beast Ring yeah. and was able to get another energy to discard, he could. All right, so he is still burned. <laughs> this burning confusion coming in handy for multiple reasons because it kind of... Um, there's the devoured, devoured field. Attack. Yeah, de devoured field. Although he doesn't really need it now. Well, it gets rid of that uh, Weavile. Yeah, and Weavile's attack is evil admonition, and mm -hmm. it does 50 damage for each of your opponent's Pokemon with an ability. So it can hit pretty hard in a format with Pokemon with abilities. Yes, it can. Except for uh, in my top four. No, it wasn't top four. I believe it was in Swiss. I played Jesse round one. And uh, I hate to embarrass him right here. There's a couple of trades, but... Uh, he, he tried to evil. Way. He tried to evil. Uh, 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 what is it? What is Ad, it admonition. Like? He tried to evil. Uh, ad admonition. <laughs> Am <laughs> admonition. Now you got me all messed up. But uh, he had he had muck down. Yeah. And so when he tried to do the use the attack, I told him it wasn't for anything, and he didn't understand why. And I was like, Well, I don't have abilities. Because <laughs> <laughs> your muck turns it off. Oh yeah. All right, so we see a Lycan Rock, and I think he evolved the Weavile and attach for turn. I don't think right, so he he's... bloodthirsty eyes. Okay, yeah, he, yeah did, he did. He did. And now he's gonna retreat. Mainly and... retreat, and he's gonna get a whack in. I think he's got four abilities on the field, so that's two hundred damage. One, two, three. Yep, that's gonna be two hundred. Sure enough. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So it'll take two more prizes. So. Uh... And who does Rudy put up? Because he only needs one more knockout. Hmm. Does Stefan have one retreat? Or is it two retreat? I believe it's two retreat. Two retreat? Attaches so return. Lily for four? So I'm not sure what he's going to be able to do here. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Because he really doesn't want to be attacking with Blacephalon because... No, he needs to get it out of the active Yeah. as soon as he can, but then... Uh... So wait, here, now, here, okay, he here shows, it is. Yeah, here, here he shows the Naganadal GX. Yeah, Stucky's looking at it now. He knows what it does because uh, he played uh, Beast Box mm -hmm. uh, for a few tournaments, uh, testing it out. Uh, I think he played it in Tyler, Texas, at Elite Cup. Yeah, I mean, honestly, though, in in a scenario like this, if you're Rudy, you're kind of just expecting that you may not win this game. So maybe don't grab the Naganadal GX so that Jesse doesn't know that you have it. Right, yeah. That so now, kind of now Jesse up, has yeah. the info. Well, the problem anyway. is also, see, you now Zorark is also resistant to Psychic. So, right. you know, using uh, Beast Raid doesn't really do too much damage. No, nah, not not against Zorark. Yeah, because you'd only be hitting max 100. Max is 100, yeah. And I don't think uh, Rudy does not play Choice Band, I don't believe. No. Nah. Yeah. So here Most we go with Cynthia. Don't. All right, so he needs DCE. There it is. So. Yeah. So All that's, right. That's so game that's one. Game one. All right. So, so shout out to uh, Team Reaper Gaming, uh, Jesse Stuckey. Yeah, He's picking up uh, game one win. Raise hell. And praise Dale. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we, we see a mulligan from Rudy. Um, and I want to say that Rudy decided to go first. But I see a nest you, ball. Yeah, we'll see. What Let's else see what Jesse hand? had in his hand? Pick your hand back up. <laughs> Alright, so hopefully Rudy can get a basic Pokemon so he didn't get too far behind. Did he get one? Yes. Yes, he did. It looked like a Bicephalon. Yeah. And that's definitely what you want to start with. It looked like Jesse top decked a Guzma. Alright, oh, and he's starting oh, no, Ditto. DC. Okay. Yeah, he's starting Ditto. He's got a unit energy. Alright, so he's going to attach for turn. And he, I see a beast ring in his hand, a mysterious treasure. All right, so he's definitely going to grab a, not a poipel. Yeah, I would imagine. Unless his hand or, is super yeah. horrible, and he could grab a Marshadow, or uh, he does play one copy of Lele. So if he doesn't have a supporter, yeah, one, uh, one more, one could, more shadow, one Lele. Yeah, so oh, he is going to Lele. So I guess he did not have a supporter. He's going to grab a Cynthia. Is he just going to toss it all? Well, not toss it, but yeah, he's just going to shuffle it all back in. Yeah, and I saw a beast ring, which obviously is not uh, doing any good right now, but. So he'll uh, shuffle and draw for six. And hopefully get some poi poles. Maybe maybe an ultra space to get the poi poles. Ultra that would balls, be pretty more good, fire yeah. energies to discard. And on Jesse's side, he definitely needs to get that 
some stuff set up on the bench. Because having a ditto stranded in the active, uh, that would be bad if you got Yeah, donked. that doesn't feel good at all. All right, there's a poi pole. And there's the ultra space. All right, so he'll grab maybe another, another poi pole. pole. And then now his turn one is turning into something a little bit better. Yeah, definitely want to get those poipos down as soon as you can. Of course, we saw game one that he was not able to get them down until, uh, I want to say it was his second turn. Yeah, at least turn two. So turn three, he's not able to evolve until then, and uh, Jesse had already taken two prizes by that point. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to get the poipos down as soon as you can. What else does he have? Because, uh, yeah, he's already attached for turn. Does he just burst GX? No, well, he's, he going burst GX, he's going first. Yeah, he's There's going first. He's going first. There's another uh, Bacephalon. He's already attached for turn. Oh, Street's another treasure. treasure. Tossing the Ultra Ball. What does he grab? Now, do you grab another Poipal here, or do you go ahead and Marsh Shadow? Hey, dude, he might just Marsh Shadow. There yeah, it is. Yeah, go ahead and grab the Marsh Shadow and see what you can do. Uh, I mean, he had a Beast Ring in hand. <laughs> yeah, and Stucky showing his hand off there. He had a Nest Ball and a few... Uh, that was uh, about it. Yeah, didn't look very good. So this yeah. might actually help him. Right, right. Yeah, let loose. It's a uh, I don't know. I love and hate that card. There's so many cards from Shining Legends now that are kind of. At first, they weren't getting a lot of play, and then all of a sudden, they just kind of. Now they're just really niche. Yeah, show up out of nowhere there. So you got a poi pole, which you can't play anymore, and let's see. I see a nest ball in Jesse's hand, so I'm not sure what he's gonna. Uh... I think I saw two nest balls in Jesse's hand. He might have a lily too. I think he has a lily. Yeah, he's got a Lily Guzman double nest wow, ball. Wow, right, so... And, and he's going to uh, Ultra Space to do a little deck search here. Yeah, just do a deck search. Yeah, his hand is, I want to say, Guzma, Lily, double nest ball, and Zerua. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Right so he's going to be able to uh, Lily for seven. Yeah, the Marsh Shadow definitely helped him. Yeah, just using that Ultra Space to do a little deck search. Because technically Rudy doesn't know that he doesn't run Ultra Beast, but I yeah. guess nobody knows. Right, oh, it was so. a Sneasel, not a Zerua. But All there's right. a Zerua. Nest Ball for Zerua. There's another Nest Ball. I'm going to grab another Zerua, I'm sure. Maybe, I actually might grab a Rock Ruff. Yeah, maybe a Rock Ruff. Because He's yeah, the, about the Dangerous it. Rogue GX is really, really good. It's really strong. Ah, he's going to go ahead and grab a Zerua. I don't know, maybe he's thinking that he can just evolve the Ditto into uh, Lycan Rock. Yeah, that's very possible. Although, if he doesn't get the Ditto out of the active, I think that Ditto's dead next turn. <laughs> because uh, Rudy will be able to attack. Will he attack, or will he actually burst? Uh, that's a good question. Maybe attack, because that uh, sets it up to where he can burst later on in the game. Ah, uh, that's a good point. But I guess if you don't burst early, then you can't haul it for seven. That's true. And so is he attachment on the bench of Zerua. And since he run, he does run the uh, Naganadel GX, he actually could Stinger late game. <laughs> yeah, he could. <laughs> That's the other GX that he has. Um, right, right. The uh, only GX that uh, Jesse can do is uh, Dangerous Rogue. Oh, no, he does. No, yeah, he, he, plays, he plays Dark. He does play the unit <laughs> energy. The unit. He could he, do he, like yeah, Zoroarks. I forgot he could use the Zoroarks uh, GX attack. But it doesn't really copy anything good. <laughs> no, it doesn't copy anything good from... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I don't think he'll do very good mind blow. Yeah, there's the Naganadal. Uh We might see something fancy here. Otherwise, I don't know why he grabbed Naganadal. But, yeah, because that only leaves spot for one charging up uh, Naganadal on the bench now. Because this bench is kind of cluttered. Okay, so there's a Heat Factory. And he does have the fire to discard to it. All right, here we go. So draw three. three. Another fire, an ultra ball, I think, and I missed the other card. Mm. What is he thinking? Because that attachment was for last turn, so he's a mysterious treasure mm. away. Yeah, he hasn't attached this turn yet. So and then there's, there's a charging okay, up. Okay, there's a charging up, not going at all. So. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think if he uses that Naganadal GX's turn, or if he just doesn't worry about it, because it would knock out the Ditto without getting rid of uh, the energies into the Lost Zone. But right, so there's the charging up, and he attaches for turn. Okay, so maybe he's just gonna take it with the Blacephalon. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's gonna make go sense. Just take I mean, it. it's just one fire energy. You might as well. So you got Zora in the active with a um, DCE. All right, so, so I'm hoping that he has... Okay, so he does not have a Zorak in hand. All right, so 
So he's probably going to grab Cynthia with the Lele. And he's just going to go ahead and play it right away. Yeah. And he has to draw Zorark. He has to draw Zorark. Or the Zura is as good as Knocked Out. Yes. All right, Cynthia. Oh, All right, there's a Zorark <laughs> off the top. top oh, two, two of them. Zorark. All right, so we're going to see a ball, double trade. And Ultra Ball. And a Rock Ruff. So it's pretty good. All right, so there's trade, trade number one. Trade number one, yeah. Looks like another Zerua. Probably trade away the other Ultra Ball. Yep, there's another Zerua. I want to say he drew into a Great Ball, too. Let's see what he trades here. He's thinking about it. Maybe. I want to say he does the Ultra Ball. No, he does the Rock Ruff. All right. He's got a Judge. Yep. And there's and Great, Great Ball. Ball. I think he has Nuts of Lele and then a Weavile. So, he, a Weavile. Okay, so he does evolve into Weavile here. All right, so right now he's hitting for 130 with the Devour Field. Yeah. And he has not attached for turn, so he oh, actually, could... he Actually, that's a choice band also, so he's actually hitting for 160. 160. Yep, so so for close. 160. He needed that Kikui, that he one did, Kikui. yeah, he needed the Kikui. Yeah. And they're counting up damage. Honestly, in Zorak decks that run either Ninetales or Lycanroc, I've even thought of using three Kikui instead of two. Oh, yeah. But that's just me, just because, I don't know, it just seems so Well, that so extra 20, just, it seems to just help so He's, much, powerful. I mean, because it helps versus... Two cards. Yeah, it helps versus Grand Bull, too, because it allows Zorak to knock out Grand Bull. Yes, it does. With Devoured Field, Full Bench, Kukui. Um, and I think, yeah, so he already used Charging Up, and he needs two more energy or a Beast Energy, so there's an energy switch onto the Blacephalon, which right. makes sense. Yep. Lily for, it looks like three. Yeah. All right. A couple yeah. of beast rings that he can't use yet. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a weird play, charging up and then energy switching to the Blacephalon. Uh, but I guess he just wanted to draw more cards with Lily. So now here, you're going to get knocked out anyways. I would actually burst GX right here. That yeah. way when you do get knocked out, your energy goes into the discard. That is a good idea. So yeah. that's that would probably be what I would do. Oh, he's doing the He's going to go ahead and do Burn and Confuse. <laughs> Which worked well with him in the top four. It definitely and it, did. And, and there's again another Burn and Confuse. So I don't think we've seen a Burn and Confuse yet that, that anybody's flipped heads. No, and they even have... if you do flip heads, you're still confused. Yeah, that's true. You are still confused. So there's trade one. And he's already used one Guzma this game, or was that last game? Uh, that was two. last game. Okay, so he hasn't used a Guzma. I see a Rescue Stretcher, Ultra Ball. All right, now he's probably going to Ultra Ball. I probably, I would guess he's going to grab the other Zorark. Yeah, trade a third time. Yeah, go ahead and get another trade here. Now, he may grab the Lycanroc, and now he's going to go ahead and get Zorak. Yeah, because he, he needs to knock out this Blacephalon. Yeah. Or does he? Because then he can B-String. I don't know. And he's got two B-Strings in hand, so maybe that's what he's hoping. I mean, you can't avoid B-String forever. It's no, just you can't. Happen. And I think that's what uh, Rudy's hoping. He's hoping for the knockout here and uh, go ahead and get the uh, B-String going. Yeah, he's like, knock this. Yeah. Oh, and, the, and then he's going to judge, judge, so the B-Strings are now gone back in the deck. Mm-hmm. And then but, Rudy will go to four, and then he'll draw uh, his turn, so he'll have five cards at hand. Hopefully some hot fire. Is he just going to pass? I saw him take the little counters off. I mean, I guess... I think it's his trades are done. Yeah. Um, so he's... Uh, I don't know. All right, so there's another Zorark, a Guzma, and a Lycanroc, so he can bring something else up, but I know he's not going to do, do that. Do you flip to attack here, though? I mean, you're already dead to four energies so the 30 damage would it matter i don't know i think, know. He, have, I think he has 40 damage on him right now he didn't draw an energy so he's right, gonna so go he's ahead switch. and yeah he's gonna bring something up and then he's just gonna flip out of he it he did so. no i think he did no he did not attack. flip out of it he flipped tails oh yeah yeah that was so he did burn, just so pass. He still burned <laughs> still right. burned and it's 40 damage on so the now burn. the noggin adele i think is only one energy retreat mm, yes that's what it looks like So, all right, here comes the charging up a blue. Nope, I don't think he has one in the discard. Not yet, at least. But yeah, he could attach for turn and then switch into the damage Blacephalon and get a knockout. Um, but he has one, two, three, four Ultra Beasts, so that'd be 80 damage with... Yeah, so he is, so, right, so is going to retreat, and then he's probably going to go ahead and charging up from the energy he discarded. Yep, there yep. it is. So does he need to discard three? I can't... No... Looks he, like he'll need to well, discard 40, four. so you still have to do yep, four. Yeah, you need to discard four, so, all right. Although, I want to say... Nah, I think I pointed out that 
uh, while I was recording that if he had just discarded three, uh, Zorak would have died between turns to the burn. Because it would have been that's 40 right, damage right. plus 150 that's right. plus 190, and then the would have been, 20 more would be yep, 210. It would have been 210. So he discarded one extra, but I don't think he realized that. And of course, it's, you know, maybe you just do extra damage to make sure you get the knockout. Yeah. But here he needs an energy, basically. <laughs> and uh, he has a couple trades to look to get it, and maybe a supporter. Right, so there's there's trade first a trade. Uh, that's a great ball. There's a devour field. Yeah. And trade number two. Yep. And maybe I don't even know what he could Lele supporter to get. All right, because so there's Palpat. He only has one Cynthia. All right, Guzma and Probably Cynthia. Cynthia. And then all right, so those are going back in. But he's saying that he is going to Lele for the Cynthia, so he doesn't worry about shuffling it back in. So he is shuffling in the Guzma right now. And he almost just made a okay. big move. Uh, yeah, that's right. Cynthia needs to go into the <laughs> discard. That's yeah, right. Cynthia goes into the discard. And uh, I think I intervened here uh, telling him, like, hey, hey, dude, Cynthia goes here. Yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, but that's why got, you, that's this is this is why you don't well this is why you don't do shortcuts. Well, I mean you can do shortcuts, but it has mm. been a long day. It has been a long day. That's been playing true. for like five six hours. That is true. Yeah, sometimes shortcuts maybe not so great. All right, so let's see what he draws here. Lily, great ball, Lily, nest ball. Did he whiff energy? Oh, he, whiffed, he whiffed energy. energy. No, so he can't do anything. He's just a pass. Wow. I mean. Okay, so he has to pass, but Rudy can't really get a knockout because he can't B-string. <laughs> so, well, that's true, too. He still can't B-string. But, I mean, I guess he could burst GX. He could burst GX. That's right. Is that what that attack's even called? I think it is. I think okay. it's burst. I'll double check. We've been calling it burst the whole time. Blaze so. GX? Well, I think no, it's I know burst. it's not blaze. So he attached for turn. He might be able to charge up once, but that's about it. Um... And there is no way... Okay, so yeah, he just burns and confuses again. Yeah, if we're going to commentate games, we should probably know what different attacks are called. <laughs> <laughs> and he whiffed on the fire, the burn again. So he stays burned, and he will take... Um, he'll be at 40 going into Rudy's turn. Um, and he is still looking for energy. Okay, it is burst GX. Okay, it is burst right, GX. Is burst. We have looked it up. And an Acerola, so that's pretty good. But I still don't think he got energy. And he is not able to trade the third time. So... Well, he didn't get a DC. Oh, he did. Okay, so there he got the energy. Yeah, he got the unit energy for this knockout. All right, so now... Now Rudy's, Rudy's on B-string. Yeah, so let's see what happens here. All right, he's going to go ahead and bring up the... Uh, Naganadal. Naganadal GX. Um, he did draw another Blacephalon, but I don't know if I would bench that. I feel like you need a second... Charging up Naganadal. All right, so there's a charging up. Uh, now you only. Well, he does have a B string in hand too, so there's a B string. All right, so there's a B string. Now, do you put it on the active and go ahead and take the knockout? Um. Well, you'd have to put both on the active, and that would be kind of a waste, because you don't really want to stinger GX now, because that would be helping your opponent. Well, you're not necessarily wasting it because you can use it to retreat next turn and also you can discard them when you do use your attack from I uh, don't know why I put three Cephalon. <laughs> I think it was an attachment for turn. Um, well, it was an attachment for turn but I don't know why you would Oh, you don't know why he did it. Yeah, okay, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. And maybe yeah. realize he made a mistake. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, because I think you attached to the Bicephalon right there. Well, if he would have promoted, and now he's only hauling for four, so that, that seems like a big oof. But Because um, if you promoted Bicephalon, then you'd have three energies on the Bicephalon. You'd get a knockout on the Weavile uh, by only discarding or doing two energies to the Lost Zone. That's true. But now we're about to see what he does. All right, so he's going to haul it for four here. See if there is any recovery from this. Wow. He gets top, another beast ring. <laughs> wow. Top deck, top deck beast ring. So those are probably going on the Bicephalon. Rewarded. Yep. Definitely was not punished there. Yeah, so that's going on the Bicephalon. Not. And 
it, I mean, it all kind of worked out because he's going to... Re- was that a shout out to Mahone there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, whatever he says. Not punished. Yeah, <laughs> never, never punished. Never, never punished. <laughs> I mean, it kind of all worked out, though, because now uh, he has the energy on the Naganadal GX to discard in the Lost Zone, yes. and now there's the energy in the discard pile. So, so maybe, he didn't know what he was doing. Maybe it was just... <laughs> <laughs> so he didn't know what he was doing, Chris. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe it was just a big brain play. Just next level big, big brain play. Absolutely. So there's the discard here and the discard there. Or, I'm sorry, into the Lost Zone for the knockout. Yeah. And so he's down to two prizes. And I do like leaving one energy on Naga Nail GX just in case you do need to attack with it. Oh, yes. Um, yes, because you can Guzma up the Zerua and take a knockout if you need it. And then yeah. uh, and then burst GX for game. So you got one trade. Uh, I think he's still looking for a DCE. He has a unit energy in hand, but that doesn't help. Now, if he had counter gain... If he was running counter gain, you could attach the unit energy that and counter true. gain and ride a speeding for that. Wow, where is his DCEs? Are they prized? Because I have not seen another DCE since uh, that first just knockout. one. Yeah. Just one DCE. He's got two, three unit energy in hand. Yo, where's that? Where's your energy right, auto? So yeah, at? he's going to go ahead and. Uh, and he's still in beast ring turn. Yeah, he's going to attach the unit. And uh, I think so, Rudy still has two more beast rings in his deck. I just don't know if he has enough energy to cover it, though. Because, yeah. well, he would have had to discard at least, like, eight into the Lost Zone. Yes, absolutely. And then there's one in the discard and three attached, so that's, like, 13-ish. And he, I think he runs, like, 15. He runs 15, and then he runs one beast. Yeah. I mean, honestly, if he just attaches the beast energy for turn. There's the DCE, but it's on the Great Ball, so he doesn't get to keep it. We how- know it's there. It's Did- not prized. What does he have, six cards left in deck? Yeah. Wow. And he couldn't draw into it. Yeah, and that's he, just bad luck. That's just bad luck right very there. Very bad luck. But that comes with every card game. It does. Play. It does. He's totally whipping energy this game. So it looks like unless a, something happens drastic here, we are going to see a game three. Yeah, uh, he's going to go ahead and scoop it up. Yeah. Because Rudy just needs one energy. Well, yeah, I don't really blame him. Two, but. Yeah, I don't blame him right there. So uh, Jesse then, will go first here. Yeah, most and likely. And it looks like he's going to be, is it a mulligan? No. Oh. He started Marsh Shadow yeah. <laughs> again. So he started Marsh Shadow, yeah. then started Ditto, then wow, started Marsh Shadow. yeah. That's unfortunate. Yeah, not a great start. And then so. you got the Blacephalon GX start with a Poipal on the bench. That's pretty right, good. So we'll go ahead and great ball to start here. And I see a Psychic type. No, that's a Muck. Oh, wow. So it was a, uh, a whiff there on the great ball. Not the best start. You yeah, well, really he want, had some. He had you really some. want to grab a Rock Ruff or a Zuru right there, but. Yeah. I wonder if that the Dark type was a Weavile. Let's see if he hits Otherwise, it again. I don't know why. All right, there's at least a Rock Ruff, and I think I saw Zerua. Yeah. Or maybe a Sneasel? Maybe but it was. Oh, yeah, it must rough. have been a Sneasel because he's going to go to the Rock Ruff. He may be trying to empty his hand to do a, a big Lily. I didn't see if he had any supporters. I wasn't sure what he had there. Let's see. He's got a Choice Band going on, Unit Energy. Yeah, so and, it is yeah, a it's big a big Lily. lily. And he's, lily got, he's got Lycan Rock in hand, too. So okay, really so good. he'll Lily for six here, but I still don't see his Arua. Yeah, and uh, attaching an energy onto a rock rough turn one is very, very strong because that allows you to dangerous rogue your turn two. Absolutely. And so, yeah, you know, as the opponent, you just got to be like, do I load my bench up or do I just, you know, give him a knockout? So you nice. see an ultra space. So we'll probably, uh, we'll see another uh, Poipo Poipo. right here. Yep. And he might burst GX this turn. I would imagine that he does. Yeah, I mean, I think it's the best play. And with There's 15 no energy, I mean, you've got a pretty good shot of uh, of hitting one. At least one. Off of your, uh, well, I'm off of your prizes. Yeah. And going, uh, you know, you can attach to the uh, to the active cephalon if you uh, pull a uh, energy. So, so there's the attachment for turn and, and the big Cynthia here. Cynthia, Cynthia. Yeah. So pretty good start for Rudy. Maybe just load your bench up more. I don't know. Or do you avoid the Dangerous Rogue GX? You could just have three bench Pokemon and be doing 150. Although the Choice Band makes it 180. Uh, yeah, so it's a knockout with a Choice Band. So so if you're really trying to avoid Dangerous Rogue GX, you're not benching any more Pokemon this turn. And then you go into Beast Ring turn, though. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, that is it's, true. It's kind of one of those... Uh... It's freaking ba- like, hey, I'm just going to bait you. <laughs> All right, so he does... N- he does not bench any more Pokemon. No, nope, and he is going to go ahead and discard the Ultra Ball. All right, see what Jesse does here. Apricorn Maker. 
That's pretty good there. He's going to grab some nest balls here and go ahead and get a couple of Zeruas down. That does sound like a good idea. All right, so he, he plays he one. May, he may sneezel. There we go. He has a Zerua and plays the other one. Well, yeah. Uh, well, go ahead and grab Ditto. Yeah, the just, Ditto's pretty good. Yeah, because then you can just go Weavile, Zoroark. Um, Ditto's great in this deck. I mean, I really like getting a lot of uh, Zeruas because, you know, trade's just really good, but I also like Sneasel into Weavile because well, and he runs, it he, hits really hard. Well, and he runs for Lily. Yeah. Um, so after turn one, Lily kind of becomes uh, Mook um, when you got a handful of cards, and so you just use it as trade fodder. Mm -hmm. That's actually, like, a little risky because, I mean, he had the Lycanroc GX in hand, and, of course, he did not mean to drop it. But if Rudy was to Guzma up the Lycanroc with the Choice Pain Unit Energy, that would be very sad. All right, so there goes Beast Energy. Mm -hmm. and so that means he will only have to discard one to knock out the Mars Shadow. Yeah, because it's only got 70 HP. So we get Mysterious Treasured. Uh, going to grab that Charging Up, Naganatal. Probably just going to discard the one that he gets off the Naganatal from Charging Up. Gonna be another, yeah, another yep. mysterious treasure. All right, gonna grab another Naganadal. All right, so now he's got two charging up, and, and uh, he's still he's still card. not dropping any more uh, Pokemon on his bench. He's playing it safe there with the uh, with the two Rock Rough and then one of them uh, with Energy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's intentional or if he just doesn't have any more Pokemon in hand. So he is Lily for I, four. I mean, I think I do see a Poipol in hand, so he could actually bench the third one, but. Maybe he's just not. I think he's just playing it safe. Uh, he's going to so go ahead and charging up twice, and uh, all he needs to do is discard one here to knock out the Marsh Shadow and take another prize, and he'll be down to four. Yeah. And with him not binging Pokemon, you know, he knocks out the Marsh Shadow, but, yeah. um, he, you know, you can't get the return knockout right, with so there the Lycanroc. Rock. and he, there he draws his prize. <laughs> and so you got the Zork, you got the Lycanroc. All right, so now he is going to pull up the one with the energy. Mm-hmm. And what there's the eyes here. I mean, he still needs a full bench and uh He does, field. I forgot. Yeah, Naganadal's uh, 130. Yeah, it's 130. Weak to Psychic. I want to say it's weak to Psychic. It is weak to Psychic. So we traded Judge. He drew a Nest right, Ball. So Nest Ball, so he's probably going to grab another Zerua. He just needs one more bench. Yeah, probably Zerua. Uh, Sneasel. Uh, Zerua. <laughs> Yeah, and you'll notice that he's playing the 70 HP Sneasels instead of the 60 HP. But now he HP. still needs Devour Field here. Yeah, he still needs Devour Field, and he still needs one more bench. So he does still have a little bit more he needs to get. And he he's already used his one trade. And he only runs one Cynthia, so he may not actually be able to get a knockout. Let's see what else he has here. Now he's already attached for turn. All right, so yeah, he's no, going to he, hit he misses for, the uh, knockout. 120. 100. 100. 100. Yeah, yeah. Or 110. Can we count? <laughs> 2, 4, 6, 8. No, no, no. Just 100 because there's no Devoured Field. Yep, no Devoured Field. That's All right, it. so there's a... Uh, looking for the charging up. Yeah, and I think... I want to say that the Naganadal um, only has one retreat cost, so he can just retreat and double charge up and get a knockout here. Because that's what it looks like yeah, on the card. Yeah, if he retreats the active and brings up the Bicephalon, and then he can double charge up, he'll only mm -hmm. need to... Uh, well, he'll need to discard all the energy, though, including the beast energy. True. So maybe he's looking for, like, an uh, energy switch or something. Right, so there's the double charging up. Although I don't think he's attached for turn. Oh, so, no, he hasn't. Yeah, You're maybe right. he can that's still right. attach for turn, too. That's right. But now he still has to get out of the active. All right, all right so, so he's going to retreat. retreat. I wonder if he's still not going to bench another Pokemon. Yeah, so there's, there's the attach attachment. for turn. Okay, so now all he has to do is discard the uh, four. Yeah, he's got Marshadow in hand, too. I don't, I don't know why he'd bench Marshadow yet. It looks like he's got a pretty big hand. Uh, Sophocles. Uh, looking like he's thinking about Sophoclesing or tossing the Marshadow and the Blacephalon. All right, grabbing four. If there's a Lele, Cynthia, Lele also saw yeah. a Mysterious Treasure. I think he runs one Rescue Stretcher. I don't know if I would have discarded the Blacephalon just in case. All right, so he's definitely purposely uh, keeping his bench small, uh, which is very smart against this uh, Lycanroc that is just 
sitting there threatening. Um, <clears throat> all right, so there's a uh, Zork energy, and I mean Zork's not gonna one shot you. All right, and we're gonna judge here. So, but the real question is, can Rudy take a knockout the next turn? Because I don't, I don't think Zork knocks out Blacephalon this turn for sure because you well can't he already Kukui. played judge so he can't kakui yeah so, there's so definitely now not a knockout for rudy's next turn all he has to do is draw an energy for turn and then double and charge up for double game charging up for game yeah and then he would have just six owed him like yeah. jesse hadn't taken any prizes yet yeah right. so we just see 100 that'd be, damage that'd be 130 with the oh yeah 130 band. with choice band yep all right let's see what rudy's got he drew the energy, right. and he has Heat Factory, so there's at least one energy. There's already one in there, so he needs one more in the discard and one to attach. All right, now this is, now I, I Heat Factory here if I'm him. Okay, he's going to go ahead and attach it. He must have a uh, supporter in hand to be able to draw here. Now he's going to bench the Poi Pole because he realizes that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at this point. You're up 6-2. to two. All well, right, Cynthia. Yeah, so now he just needs to... Well, and benching the Poi Pole means that you don't draw back into it. Uh, well, yeah, and so if he draws one energy here, he can just Heat Factory for game. Yes. Yes, he he, he Heat Factories for game. <clears throat> but also benching the Poi Pole. Okay, and there, yeah, it and there it is. So, so yeah, Heat Factory, yep. and it? that's it. So, uh, wow. yeah. Wow. Yep. Really good. Really, really good, good three uh, games um, from both game players. Game two, Jesse had so much just bad luck not being able to draw. Yeah. Um, I think he had a good shot uh, at winning game two, um, but he just couldn't draw energy. Yeah. And um, by not drawing energy, he missed out on the uh, you know the Bicephalon that was sitting there with 150 damage for right, right. a long time. Yeah, and Bicephalon could just hit such big yeah, numbers it's just, just it's, out of nowhere. It's huge, and then especially when you hit double beast ring like he did. And um, so yeah, uh, Rudy, that's his first uh, League Cup win. Uh, victory ever mm -hmm. and um so yeah jesse uh getting second place there representing uh team reaper gaming or team reaper tcg yeah and um so yeah that was uh so that's our first uh, league cup and uh yeah we're gonna be doing more of these um and other stuff yeah and other stuff uh so just keep uh keep a lookout on our youtube and uh check us out on facebook at uh team reaper gaming um but we may change that to Team Reaper TCG. Yeah, we may be changing it to Team Reaper TCG, but either way, just uh, look up uh, Team Reaper on Facebook, and uh, you'll, you'll see our yeah, you'll nice logo. Us. You'll find us. And uh, Anyways, so, uh, yep, I'm Clayton Fagan, and this is... Uh, Chris Weber, and we will see you next time. Yep, we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.